Okay. Recording is started. And um, just to remind everyone that we're recording this webinar and will be available online on our website in a few days after the class. Okay. So um, a quick check with everybody. Uh, how familiar is everyone here with um, Alaska state legislative materials? Um, do we have everyone being uh, going from completely unaware about how bills are created to knowing some of the basics about what goes on with our uh, government? So if there's no typing, I'm going to assume that we should start from the very beginning. <laughs> um, oh. My chat window is acting funny then. Okay. So let us start. Um, I'm going to do a quick overview about uh, how bills are made. And let me start by... Ah, yes. My computer has uh, frozen up, which is wonderful. So... Let's do an audio version of how bills are made while I wait for my computer to unfreeze so I can show you the um, actual file itself. Okay, so anyone can um, anyone can have an idea for a bill, um, you know, citizen, legislator, whatnot. Um, to actually draft the bill, you'll have to have a legislator or several legislators, um, a legislative committee. So the legislator will actually draft the bill up. They'll send the proposal on to one of the um, legislative affairs agencies. And then after that, um, once it's reviewed and everyone can make sure that it's legal, um, it's introduced in the session. Uh, now, um, when it's first introduced, it will get them the bill number, and they are all in um, numerical order, so you'll be able to tell which bills were introduced when by what number they are. Uh, you can also tell which house the bill was introduced in, because that actually changes the title of it. So HB1 is the first bill introduced in the House. Uh, SB1 would be the first bill introduced in the Senate. And all of this is noted in the uh, House or Senate journals, and these are publications that are created uh, for every day of the legislature, legislative session, sorry. And these publications, they basically tell you what happens for each uh, Senate, sorry, for each legislative day. Um, so there's a House journal and a Senate journal, and let me see. No, I'm still here. I'm just not a per not a host. Mm -mm. I believe I'm reconnected. <laughs> Panic. <laughs> okay, now let me Okay, here we are. Now I can actually do things. So I'm sharing my monitor. Now you can actually see the uh little flow chart that I was talking about, the Alaska legislative process. Um, so this is on how the bill becomes a law. So I think we were right there in the main part. Um, so every bill is going to have the prime sponsor, that's whichever legislator or chairperson uh, is the prime person for the bill, and then there will be other um, people sponsoring it. And 
after it is um, assigned a bill number and there's the first reading in the House of the Senate, it will start going into committees. So there are rules about which committees go for which bills. Um, and at that state, it goes from committee to committee as people are sorting out or reviewing the bill. Sorry. And I'm going to skim past the main part because it's basically a cycle of reading, reconsideration, and um, adjusting the bill. And then um, after it gets done through one uh, house, so either the House or the Senate, uh, then it needs to go to the other side and go through the exact same process, at which point it will either go to the Census Committee or it will either um, basically die on the floor or be uh, signed into law. And then, well, signed or vetoed. But anyway, we're going to just talk about the ones that are uh, signed. So once they're signed, um, after that they become an act. They get a chapter number in the um, session laws. And after a few months after the session ends, they're um, all, uh, sorry, I'm trying to figure out the word here. Um, they're basically put into the Alaska State Statutes, which is all of our laws. Sorry, there is a compiled, indexed, and distributed. Okay. Now I'm going to go on to, sorry. I didn't go back, but I'm on the... Um, Alaska Legislature page. Okay. Just adjusting my uh, screen here. Okay, so this is an image from the House Journal for, let's see, what day is it? It's 20th? Uh, yesterday. So as you can see, it basically tells you which day it is. Um, the page number is which page it is in the app. Uh, the book basically for this entire session. And what will happen is it's going to tell you everything that happened um, on the session day for the House. So it has um, who did the indication, what the roll call was, and then it goes into um, the bills or the other various communications that were discussed. So this one, you see they were talking about uh, SB 53 and then the various um, discussions that were had there. Now, uh, let's see. just in more screen so I can see the chat window still. Go back to the legislative page. Sorry. Um, I should also note right now that the um, Alaska State Legislative page is still under construction. So if you are browsing along on this page and you get kicked into something that looks much older and some of the links are broken, if you just um, go back to the main page, you'll be um, put back on the proper side. Okay, so that was uh, the uh, the process for the bills, and then a little bit on the House and Senate journals. Now, when I'm trying to find a particular bill, there's a few different ways that we can do this. Um, if we happen to know what the bill number is, um, we can just use this main search bar here. Uh, that works for the bill number if you have the... Um, the statute or the uh, keyword. Um, let's see here. So for this, and I did a quick search earlier. So there's one, it's called HB35. Um, with this search, you don't have to worry about making a space between anything. Just type in the bill. And here it is this one. It will. It is uh, HB35. And then it will bring up um, what the current status is. Now, this one was turned into a law already. This was from the uh, previous session. 
And on this page, uh, if I scroll down, you can see um, there's a summary of the bill itself, and then also it links you to the journal pages. And these are to the House of Session journal that describes what was happening on these days as was being discussed. if I can find, yes. So here you can see it was discussed on this date, and you can see um, what certain representatives or legislators uh, said about the bill at the time. Um, now with this page also, um, we have the full text of the bill in each form. So uh, the one that was from January 21st is the original version. And then as it goes into the commi different committees, you'll see it changed subtly. Um, we also have fiscal notes, which would be the impact it has on um, the finances. Um, any amendments, this one had none. And then the more important part would be um, minutes and audio. This is, these are links, I'm not going to actually click that link because it's going to uh, really confuse my computer. But these are the actual minutes for the meetings that were had about this bill. So if you click that link, you can actually hear them discuss it. And then also um, documents, which will be any documents that are associated. So um, you're going to list a sponsor statement and then any other supporting documents for letters or facts and figures, that type of thing. So this was how I found the bill since I, oh yes, and thank you, Claire. Um, the way you can tell that it is a bill is because uh, under current status, it won't tell you uh, which committee it's in. It actually says um, Chapter 2 SLA, which is State Law of Alaska, and then it's uh, number 15. Now, uh, if I did not know the bill, um, there's other ways I can search for this. Um, if I knew what this was about, this one is specifically about um, the Great Alaska Good Friday earthquake, um, I could go to um, this part here on the sidebar on the left-hand side, Bills and Laws. Um, if you go to Bills, it brings up another um, drop-down menu, and there's the option to uh, let's see. Look up by sponsor or by subject. So if I select the subject, here's the subjects of every bill that's currently going on. And this one was about the earthquake, so that would be under disaster. And it's the first one here. And then there's the other bills that were on disasters. And actually, with here, you can see the other statuses. So um, this one here is in the House bill for the Judiciary Committee. And you can see the last status. That was very well since that one has been touched. Um, alternately, uh, this one was sponsored by Representative um, Millet. So we can also search uh, by sponsor. So we can search either by which House or Senate member sponsored it or by which community, uh, sorry, which committee it's involved in. Yes, and um, so with this search term, the searching that I'm doing, um, this is all for the current session, no, sorry, the current legislature, the 29th legislature, which as Claire says, covers um, part of 2015 and 2016. Um, so anything I use with this search bar is only going to be covering this legislative season. Um, if there is something that you're trying to find that would be older, there is an archive, which um, we have dipped into the old version of the website, as you can see, because the um, top bar looks different. So sometimes these links will act a little funny since I'm on the old page. But 
here on the left hand side it's on the same place as in the new page um, there's an archive and uh, each of these links will send you back to uh, the exact same version of these pages just with the information for the previous legislative sessions so if we um, click this link now we'll be on the 28th legislative page and we can do the exact same searches here. So if we wanted to see, for instance, um, what bills were vetoed from the last legislative session, that's governor's vetoes. And let's go for things that were completely vetoed. And here we are. And then the link will send you to the uh, page that has all of the information about the bill. Now let me go back. Okay. Now that is um, how we find a specific bill. If we are looking for a bill that is still being in process, that is still in process, sorry. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to go find a quick bill by going to actions by date for yesterday. Because I don't think the session, I don't think the legislature is in session today. Okay. So I'm just going to grab one. Uh, King Salmon Tags and Designs. Okay, that is HB 177. So let us say that I am very interested in this bill on King Salmon Tags and Designs, and I would like to be notified at any point if anything happens with this bill whatsoever. Um, on the uh, left-hand drop box, sorry, left-hand sidebar, um, under Tools here, uh, there is, we call it BTMF, the Bill Tracking Management Facility. And this allows us to track bills. And let me try to remember which email address I used. Okay, here it is. Okay, so um, they do require you to make a login. Uh, it's free. There's uh, no real effort involved in that. So from here, I can update my folder. Um, now, these are all the bills that I have been looking at through the past legislative sessions. I'll just add this new one on. This one was HB 177. So what we basically just type in the bill number, no spaces, and then we say um, update folder. So now I will have that. Um, what this will do is anytime the status of this bill changes, um, it will send me an email. So this means that anytime it moves to different um, committees, or it passes the House of the Legislature, you'll get notified. And also, whenever they schedule meetings, you'll be notified a few days in advance that there is a meeting going to occur on this bill. So if there happens to be something that you actually need to uh, show up to the legislature to attend one of these meetings, this is a good way of actually keeping track of when the meetings are going to be occurring. Let's see. So does anyone have any questions about those items? Okay. Okay.
Okay. So the um, old system we had would actually tell us when people were typing so you knew when to pause. Ah, um, this one actually you can't really, well, you can't really search for subjects across multiple legislatures. I'm sorry, Claire asked if we can search for subjects across multiple legislatures. Uh, there is a way of searching more than one legislative session at once. Uh, I have scrolled down to uh, the quick links at the bottom, which has uh, the database called InfoBases. Yeah. So InfoBases is Let's see, here there's um, all of the previous uh, Alaska statutes. And then um, we also have the text of bills and resolutions. So it has the uh, well, text of bills and resolutions. And then also the um, House Senate journals for um, all the way back to the 80s. And then the committee text. So this is the text of the committees that are discussing all of the bills and the, uh, the session laws and resolutions, uh, sorry, resolves. Um, now, the, uh, what we were searching earlier, we were just searching the website, uh, that one's called Basis. Uh, that one goes back to around 1993. Um, Infobases goes back to 80s, about 1982. And there's, also, additional information that is digitized at the um, Alaska Legislative Library um, that's not yet put on the website. But if you did want the um, information from some committee bill files or uh, committee minutes that is much earlier, you can always contact them and they can see if they haven't digitized yet. But anyway, back to Claire's question. Um, if I click any of these links, I can do a search on any particular session. But if I hit this query button here, and then let's see, I'm trying to get this to where I want it to go. Okay. We'll just do it this way. Um, you can select multiple um, databases to search, well, infobases. So, like, just why I have selected um, everything from the 29th to the 21st um, journals. Um, so, with this, um, I can do basically a keyword search. Sorry, that moment is trying to start with daylight savings or daylight saving. Okay, and um, I'm putting quotes around my search because I know that uh, there is going to be many instances of the word daylight and then also savings somewhere. Um, a quick word about the display options. Um, if you choose records with hits only, it will basically show you the entire database and tell you where your um, records are specifically located. Um, and if you hit uh, headings with hits, it will only bring up the um, items that have your particular search in them. So I'm going to hit headings with hits because I don't want to go through pages upon pages. And here it will tell us... Um, which of these journals actually has any text. So it looks perhaps like my search was bad. So let me try that again without the uh, quotes. And one more time, because maybe it is not. There we go. Sorry. It's not daylight savings, it is daylight saving. Uh, yes, um, the quotes make, sorry, um, I'll ask if the quotes make a search look for daylight and savings next to each other. 
Um, the quotes are basically forcing it to look for exactly my phrase. Um, so without the quotes, it's looking for any instance within a, about a paragraph or so where it says the word daylight in saving, uh, which might not actually be daylight space saving, which would be what the um, quoted search would be. So let me see the 21st legislature. We have a daylight and saving. So, so this is a way to search through the um, older journals for keywords. So it's not specifically a subject search, but if you know the right keywords, you can get close to it. Um, a note on here, so you see that the um, keywords I have selected are have air red arrows next to them to indicate where they are. If I wanted to just skim ahead to the next one, um, I can well, I can scroll through the other fills around it, but uh, next hit will get me into the uh, next hit in all the journals that I was looking for. Um, also, if I wanted to know exactly what I was looking at, the um, table down below will tell you exactly which book you're in. So this is the 1999 House Journal. And this particular item was on February 24th. So if you're trying to find the print version, you can go look in the 1999 House Journal for the state, and you can see the actual print version. Okay, so let me go back to contents, um, and while I'm in info bases, oh, I'm sorry. Um, from this page, we can also look at the um, Alaska statutes, the current one and the older versions. Um, there is this little. Um, parentheses item says new system. Um, they have recently switched over to a new system with the Alaska statutes that looks different than the older version, but is closer to the information that's available in the print. Uh, let me give you an example. So this is the new version. Um, if I scroll down to, here we go. What we'll just show me is um, here's the different sections, and then on the left hand side, sorry, right hand side, uh, it gives you the different citations and notes that are generally only available in the print version. So it will tell us um, what parts were repealed or what parts are referencing other um, statutes, or also. Um, the different citations of which um, state laws actually put the statutes into place and which ones took them out. The older version um, is basically just telling you the the text, and occasionally it will. Oh, sorry, it does have the information on what's repealed, but it won't tell you anything about. Um, which laws put the um, statutes into place, and it won't give you any information about which ones are referencing other statutes. Um, another thing to note is that um, anything that's online is not the official version. The official versions are only available in print. Uh, they're here at the State Library and also the Legislative Library. So if you did need to look at the uh, official versions, you do need to look at the print versions. Okay. So we've done some information on how to search for bills, and then also how to look a little bit at statutes. Um, I'm scrolling down because we also there's the committee minutes and journals, but. So here at the very bottom, this is we're still in info bases. Uh, there is a little part that says general legislative information. 
Um, there's two things I want to point out here. Um, the first is the legislative uh, library catalog. So this is a catalog that has the different um, reports and transcripts and legislative history compilations that the legislative library has put together. So if anyone is asking you to uh, research some bit of legislative, legislative information or you yourself are looking to, um, it's always good to double check with the uh, legislative library catalog to see if someone's already done the information first. And that's also uh, goes very similar for the um, legislative research requests. So, um, I clicked the button for the uh, legislative research requests, and we were talking about daylight savings, which is saving. Nope. So, here it brings up the other um, legislative research that the Ledge Library has done for this already. Um, if there's uh, information that's not confidential, it will be involved here. So here we can see um, which representative made the request, uh, which staff member handled it, and then you can see the title of it. So this first one here, is a history of daylight savings time in Alaska. And this will have all the different um, statute and legislative information going back. So rather than um, start doing all the research over again, you can search to see what was done before and see how you further you sorry, see how much further you need to go into the future. Um, that's that one. And then ultimately, the Legislative Library Catalog, which I'm just going to query. Oh. And then there's nothing there for that. This is a very broad search. Oh, no. Very bad, but not actually. Let's go look at. There we go. Something. Okay, so here is um, the catalog. So this is one of the um, final reports. Spins about how it. There we go. This is some of the uh, various information that's available at the Legislative Library. Um, but if you have a specific request, it's always good to contact them directly, and they can tell you if they have anything in their collection that can help. Okay, let's see. Now, um, one other little bit. Ah, right, sorry, I skipped something in the beginning part. Um, let me go back to the home page. So that was an overview of info bases. So we talked about um, finding bills and looking at statutes and doing some uh, basic legislative uh, research. Um, something that is also uh, useful to know here, um, their publications page. The one thing I'd like to point out specifically here, uh, abbreviations and acronyms. I'm just going to open that up on a new page. So this, okay. This publication is 
all the abbreviations and acronyms that are being used currently by the legislature. Um, while you're doing your research into the bills, if you're looking at the different committees and you're not sure what anything stands for, um, just check this. You can see what the um, codes mean and then what the um, bill abbreviations actually stand for. And that will help quite a bit when you are trying to do some research. Uh, the next part, um, one of the questions we get a lot at the library is people asking about who was Governor Wynn, um, what terms people had. And I'm trying to find it because it has a strange name. Ah, uh, right. Uh, roster of members here. Just click that. So the um, roster of members is a publication that lists every person who was a um, senator representative in the legislature starting back to the Constitutional Convention. Let me scroll down. So if you have any questions about that, it will actually tell you um, well, this one's interesting because it says how long they were last in residence and whatnot. But you scroll down to the current one. Sorry, index. There we go. This is the last session. Um, so it will tell you here it is. Uh, when the session started, when it ended, the second session started and ended. Um, who is in the Senate, their locations, their districts, their house. And then at the bottom, it will tell you who is governor and then who are U.S. senators and representatives, or as long as any um, notes about oddities from that session. And this one's very good because when you get the questions about who was senator when and who was governor when, you can actually just go back and change specifically. And then um, the other one I'd like to point out if you are um, interested in how all of this works, but you want to go more in depth, there is uh, the Guide to Alaska Legislative History Materials. And this one actually is a guide to what resources are where and what years are covered. So it will tell you specifically um, who has the microfilm, who has information on CDs, um, for example, the um, our Alaska State Library, we have the current three years of um, House and Senate floor sessions on audio, so we keep uh, CDs of that available here. Um, you can also listen to that on KTOO, um, and then the Alaska State Archives has all of the audio, going back as far back as we've kept the audio, and the Anchorage Court Library, I think, keeps that as well. But this one will specifically state um, what information is available and who has it and where it is. Um, this one is interesting because there are some very large gaps in Alaska legislative history where um, people just decided not to keep files. So there are a few years um, that you can't do uh, any research on because the information doesn't exist. Because they just threw everything away. Now, the other thing is um, the layman's guide to the budget process. If you are involved in all of the, um, the budget issues and are trying to figure out exactly what it is that is happening, and the legislative process in Alaska, the one right under it, um, this is a very easy to read guide about how the legislative process works. Um, it's written as if there was a person who was trying to get a bill introduced to the legislature and everything that they would have to go through to see it um, put into law. Okay, so. That was a, uh, a whirling tour of the Alaska State Legislative uh, page and information. 
So uh, does anyone have any questions or things they would like me to um, go back over or go a bit more in depth in? We've got a few more minutes. Okay, I'm going to um, stop sharing the page. Okay, well, if there are no questions, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. And uh, as we said, yes, we said earlier, um, this session is being recorded and we'll have it up on our website in a few days. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us directly. Um, the email address and link is going into the chat. Okay. So feel free to email us. I, I sent it to my... Sorry. There we are. There is the email address to the Alaska State Library. If anyone has any questions, feel free to contact us, and we will be sure to help out. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording now.